Welcome back to the channel with Mr. Chen. Okay guys, today we will be looking at the topic introduction to agriculture. Now, within this topic, we will cover subtopics such as what is agriculture, history of agriculture, branches of agriculture, problems in agriculture, importance of agriculture, careers in agriculture. This topic is basically suitable for grade 7 students who are doing agricultural science within the high schools within the Caribbean. So this lesson is suitable for all schools, all the high schools within the Caribbean. And students who are doing integrated science at the primary level can also watch this video. Alright, so guys, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Please stay tuned as we get into the lesson. Now, so let us get into the definition of agriculture. Agriculture involves the rearing of animals and the growing of plants and other life forms fungi, etc., to satisfy human needs and wants through the use of scientific knowledge and principles. So in other words, as you can see, the definition outlines that agriculture basically deals with plants and animals, all right? And agriculture is practiced to satisfy the needs of humans. And the third component of the definition is that it involves the use of scientific knowledge and principles. So, as you can relate, agriculture it involves all the use of a lot of advanced technology. So, for example, your automated greenhouses, your automated poultry houses that use um, computers. You are talking about your hydroponic systems that is controlled by a pump system, etc. All right, so importantly from this definition, I want to outline something important. So here you can see where it says the rearing of animals. All right, so the word rearing is used to describe animals and growing or cultivation to describe plants. So when you're writing your definition or you're reading your definition for agriculture, it is appropriate to say rearing of animals rearing of animals very important and for your crops we say growing of crops or cultivation of crops all right so let's move on all right so key point agriculture is a man-made activity so this is very important for you to know it is created by man so agriculture is intentionally created by human beings and remember that that is not to satisfy their needs all right so let us get into the history of agriculture so it has an history and we're going to look briefly on the history all right so before we get into the history there is also another part of the definition of agriculture so agriculture is broken up into two parts so the part that says agri comes from the latin word agrarius meaning of the land. So the term agri in Latin means agrarius and it means of the land. All right, and the term culture, it comes from the word cultura, which means to cultivate. So, so the word agriculture was defined by the Greeks a long time ago. All right, so we're going to get, let's get into the history now. All right, so the history of agriculture. Agriculture was started in the year 2000 BC by the Greeks. Before modern agriculture, there were 1. Hunter gatherers, 2. Nomadic herdsmen, 3. Domestication of animals, 4. Shifting cultivation, and 5. Settled agriculture, which was primitive at the time. Alright, so now we are experiencing modern agriculture or I should say we are practicing modern agriculture, but before agriculture became modern or primitive, 
there are also ways in which human used to feed themselves and some of these ways are one as we said the hunter gatherer all right so the hunter would go and search for animals for meat and the gatherers would basically collect wild fruits nomadic herdsmen those are people who would normally follow the animals around they would not have any settled home they would just follow their animals around and ensure that they secure their food when they want food all right domestication of animals that's where our people started to settle in a home and they used to keep animals at home for example sheep shifting cultivation is where persons used to plant crops however they used to use the land for say for three years and then when that land became infertile they moved to another area to cultivate the land they would not apply fertilizer back in the days all right what we have with modern agriculture now we use a lot of fertilizers to improve the fertility of our land and also to plow the land to increase that fertility as well so in modern agriculture now we practice a lot of um ways in which we can maintain the fertility of the soil back in the days they did not and they use like um slash and burn method to clear their land so they would burn a lot of their land that would normally destroy the fertility of the soil and the organic matter of the soil all right for settled agriculture they started settled agriculture and it was primitive their tools were not as advanced as we have now and as you know settled agriculture is where a person started to have their farm and they rear their animals etc all right, so let us look at the differences between primitive agriculture and modern agriculture. On the slide here, I have three main differences. So number one, for the primitive, you have, there are simple tools. So the simple tools were used, such as stones, sticks, bow and harrow, wood spear, etc. All right, so the tools were very simple. In modern agriculture, the tools that are used now, they are advanced, such as computers, tractors, engines, plows. Alright, for number two, for the primitive agriculture, they used to practice um, subsistence farming. So this is where the farmers would just produce enough for their family to eat. For the modern agriculture, they normally, we normally practice um, mass production and commercial farming. Now, this involves the producing of a large amount of crops for sale and agro-processing. All right. Um, for primitive, for number three, some crops that were produced back in the days were corn, cassava, and they would domesticate. Uh, now, we have a wide variety of crops that are produced in large amount, but I'm just, I just gave three of them, which, is, which are rice, banana, wheat, etc. All right, so those are basically the main differences between the two types of agriculture. All right, so let us move to branches of agriculture. Here, as you can see here, branches of agriculture means that agriculture is divided into different sections or subsections. So here we have six branches of agriculture. So they don't come in any specific order. All right, so we could say could start with any one of them. So agriculture economics, agriculture engineering, animal science, horticulture, agronomy, fishery. So we have six branches of agriculture now, all right, that we are required to know. All right, so branches of agriculture. There are six main branches of agriculture, as I said. Well, here we have number one, agronomy. And agronomy is the study of the soil and how it influences uh, plant growth. Number two, horticulture, the study and care of plants used for beautification or decoration. So persons who are in flowers farming, they, they are, are actually practicing horticulture. So those persons who cultivate um, or propagate flowering plants, they are hibiscuses, bougainvilleas, etc. They are in the horticulture field or section. Uh, animal science, study of animals and animal care. 
agriculture engineering the study of farm machinery so care of the the tools the learning of the types of engines all of those areas would fall under agriculture engineering agriculture economics the study of the business side of agriculture all right so those persons who are studying marketing of goods studying profit and sales etc those who are normally farm and agriculture economics fishery the study and practice of raising and harvesting of fish all right so those are basically what we have for the branches of agriculture please remember to study them and also know them know their definitions importance of agriculture number one so we are going to look at the benefits of agriculture here what are good things about agriculture all right as we know it has a number of benefits that's why it is practiced um, over the years 2000 years now okay all right so let's get into it number one provides income now this is money acquired from the sales of farm produce and products number two provides jobs agricultural activities provide employment for example farm manager machine operator etc number three provides foreign exchange money gain from selling farm produce and products so a country can benefit from foreign exchange and normally for some countries that sell their goods to foreign countries the foreign currency or foreign money it values more than the local money so when these goods are sold to overseas markets the country will gain or the seller would gain a lot of a lot more money for their goods number four animals are used as pets for many individuals of course a lot of you can relate some of you have dogs cats etc for pets number five for leisure for example, horseback riding, sports, hiking, etc. So leisure here means uh, for fun. You enjoy, it gives enjoyment. All right. Number six, for food, clothing, and shelter. And many of us can relate to that one very easily. All right. Number seven, the creation of medicine. So for example, you know that marijuana is used to produce asthma salt, which is used um, for asthma. Asthma salt is very good for asthma it is used to treat also glaucoma of the eyes so that persons can see better all right so plants are used for their medicine all right so those are some importance of agriculture all right so let's move on problems faced in agriculture all right so even though we want to go into agriculture and it has so many benefits we cannot do without it there are there are actually challenges that are faced in agriculture and you are required to know some of those challenges so let's start with number one cradial larceny now cradial larceny this is a stealing of agricultural produce all right so like that is one main problem um if persons are stealing from you or from your farm it can discourage you because they might be stealing your produce and what would happen the money that was spent to start that business you will not gain back that money because thieves would normally take away your produce so you cannot gain an income all right number two poor infrastructure development such as roads water supply systems etc so of course that affects agriculture in a very large way so your infrastructures would be your physical structures right like your roads as we said all right as you know agriculture cannot practice without water supply and if you're going to do commercial farming for example it would be very tedious if you have to carry those weight on your on your head all right so you need vehicles to help alleviate some of those challenges and make the work easy for you or make transportation easier all right so infrastructure development is very essential to the success of agriculture number three lack of collaterals or securities 
to be qualified for a loan. So, collateral here and securities. If you want to borrow money from the bank or a loan institution, most times they ask for securities or collaterals, right? So, and if you don't have those, and right, if you don't have those, the banks might hesitate to give you a loan. All right, so here, the collaterals are securities. Many farmers don't have them, and so they are unable to get money to borrow, uh, which would normally enhance their, their farms. So collaterals, as you can see, is something that is put in place for a loan. For example, land titles. All right, some person, some institution might take fridge, a television, laptops as securities. But you know, those won't give you a large amount of money. So, um, a collateral, the bank would normally hold on to your collateral temporarily until you pay off that loan. So, if, for instance, they want to secure their money. So, for example, if they you borrow, you borrow $1 million from the bank and you gave them your land title, that value is maybe a little bit more than the $1 million, the bank will hold on to the title. You already would sign it over to them giving them the rights to do that. And if you pay off the loan, then you will get back your title. If you don't, they will keep the title. It will belong to them. All right, so it is just a way to secure themselves. All right, a loan. A loan is borrowed money. It is money, but it is money that is borrowed. All right, so let's move on. All right, number four, lock off markets. So the fourth problem here is lock of market. Now, a market is anywhere produced or products are sold. For example, online. Example, Amazon, Alibaba, etc. They are also sold to individuals. The supermarket is also another market. Other countries are, are markets. On the streets. Original marketplace, all of those are markets. So anywhere you sell your products or service, it is referred to as a market. Now, a big problem for persons in agriculture is that they don't have enough markets. So before you even start your farming, it is best to seek your markets first. Very, very important. That's a big problem for many farmers. All right, number five, lack of factories. Uh, factories there also have another term, agro-processing plants. So when you hear about agro-processing plants and factories, the same thing. All right, so factories, agro-processing plants are where raw materials are converted into products. For example, tomatoes are pro processed into ketchup. All right, guavas are made into drink, guava drink, etc. All right, so agro-processing, there's a lot of factories within a lot of countries and that affect agriculture to a huge extent because what happened in a factory is excess produce could be also used to turn into products that could also be sold all right so if you don't have a lot of factories within a country you'll have a wastage of large amount of crops and when the factories here also provides a market for the farmers and secure the farmers. Now, if you have a lot of factories, what it means is that a large amount of produce would be wasted or can be wasted easily because farmers would have their produce and the excess, when they can't get them sell, what will happen? They would, they would spoil on them. But if there are enough factories around, the factories would take those excess goods or produce from the farmers and turn them Looks. All right, number six, topography. Now, topography, this refers to the slope of the land. For example, if the land is flat, slightly sloping, hilly, or mountainous, etc. All right, so basically, topography is still in the shape of the land. All right, whether it is flat or hilly, etc. All right, so flat and slightly sloping lands are more suitable for agricultural production. These farm of lands are more fertile and can easily accommodate machinery. So there it is telling you the type of land that is suitable for agriculture. The flat and slightly sloping lands. And as you know, in many countries that are very hilly, many farmers don't have the flat and slightly sloping 
lands. They mostly have hilly lands, all right, and that affected agriculture. All right, in these ways, isn't that it affected it in this way. It is more expensive to farm an hilly and mountainous land. So many persons who have hilly lands, it is very expensive to farm on those lands, especially if they are going into um, commercial farming. They would be affected greatly. All right, so let us get into the careers of agriculture. Of course, agriculture is a viable option. It has a lot of jobs, a lot of subsectors. So let us get into detail with some of these subsectors and the jobs. Some of them, it's just some I'm giving you. So number one, you have the sales year, the sales category. Now, some jobs are careers there. You have like salesperson and machineries, chemicals, feeds, etc. Like your farm stores and those, for example. Number two, marketing. All right, with this category, you have the marketing specialist, advertising analyst, agency marketing offices etc number three production so this is the one that most persons are used to is it? Farm. all right so that's a production category and that's just one category of the career list or choices you have apris aquaculture farmer deer farmer vegetable farmer etc all right number four education you have for example teacher nutritionist nutritionists, extension officers, etc. So those are just a few. Number five, agro-processing. All right, so that's where we're talking about now, the factories. In that area, you have preserved fruits and condiments producers, food processors, etc. Number six, journalism. Within this category, there are careers such as advertising analyst, agriculture journalist, agricultural features writer, etc. And number seven, engineering. So under that category, we have careers such as agriculture engineer, engineering technician, etc. All right, so we are at the summary of the lesson. So those, we basically completed the main topics. So let us get into the summary very quickly. First point, agriculture is a man-made activity and it is practiced to satisfy the needs and wants of man. So remember that agriculture is created 2000, in the year 2000 BC by the Greeks, all right? And in that time, agriculture was primitive and now it is advanced. And you are required to remember the differences between the primitive agriculture and the modern agriculture. So there are differences that are related to the technologies used, the level of farming, right? So subsistence farming versus um, the commercial farming. That's what we mean said, the level of farming. All right, the type of produce that were cultivated, etc. All right, so let us move to the second point. Agriculture involves the use of advanced technology and scientific studies such as computers, machinery, genetic engineering, etc. All right, so agriculture is advanced, right? You need to know that agriculture is advanced and um, it is not primitive anymore. It is a viable option. All right, so yeah, it is very, very technological. All right, guys, so you can get into this field Agriculture is a viable option, very important field. Number three, agriculture has a number of subsectors or branches, all right? Namely, agronomy, which is a study of soil and plant growth, right? So, all plants grow and relate to the soil, like all plants take up nutrients. So, you study the type of soils, rocks, types of nutrients in the soil, all of those topics will come under agronomy. All right, you have animal science, agricultural engineering, agriculture business, agriculture, articulture, sorry, and then fishery. All right, very, very important to know those branches. All right, next point, agriculture offers a lot of job opportunities from a variety of categories, such as sales, production, agro-processing, education, that students can explore and be successful in life. All right, guys, so remember, agriculture is a viable option 
It has many, many more careers. Try them out. Very important. Agriculture is vital. All country depends on agriculture. Without agriculture, we would, we would not have the settled way of life, guys. It is very, very important and, and it involves a lot of technology. You can go in and develop some new technology for agriculture to develop fertilizers, chemicals, sprays, new varieties, new GMO foods, etc. Go into the field, very important. Agriculture creates, next, agriculture creates stability and development of communities by providing a number of benefits such as food, raw materials, jobs, income, etc. And last but not least, there are problems in agriculture that individuals should be aware of, such as predial larceny, lack of water supply system, lack of good agricultural lands, incomes, etc., that are important for successful agricultural activities. All right, so even though there are benefits of agriculture, you will have to face challenges. So it's important that when you are putting your plans together, you consider these challenges and put systems in place to deal with these challenges. All right, guys, so we are now to the end of the lesson, and I hope you all well, you learn a lot and also remember this lesson has all the notes you need so you can take your time and pause your videos and write off your notes I'll always produce, provide videos like these where you get explanations, audio and also you can take your notes it is on the channel so you can access these notes anytime you have service so get automatic updates of videos by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon so it's very important guys to subscribe to the channel and not only but hit the bell icon very important is that the bell icon has three options ensure you select the all option so you'll see different options when you hit the bell select the bell and then select the all option In this way if you do not select all the all option you will not receive all the videos so remember you want to receive all the videos because i'll be posting videos right through the year and post all the videos you need for your classes from 7 to 11 from grade 7 students to grade 11. all right so remember to tell a friend or two about the channel thank you for watching see you in the next